Yeah, we, we've got about 600 acres, mainly um, creek flats, um, probably which we irrigate about 240 acres of that. Um, a lot of flood times, we have a lot of water come through over most of our flats. We have another block down the road, which is virtually, floods do travel across that ground. Um, and it's just all irrigated, we just pasture, mainly try to get back to uh, grass pastures, loosen, rye grass. We're looking at a zero till planter, and it's set on 16 inch rows. Um, direct drill. Buying the planter, I had to get to the stage where I had to upgrade machinery, which um, it's probably more expensive to upgrade tractors and um, discs and ploughing equipment than what it was to go into zero till. Um, for the cost of the zero till I can cut back on my other costs which, uh, which uh, are fuel costs and um, cutting back in labour time is the biggest thing these days. Um, cutting back on um, working ground and, and time wasted waiting for ground to be ploughed to be able to put it straight back into cropping. Any, any huge downfall of rain we usually get some sort of flooding that comes through. Um, we experience once every five years or but, but even heavy down rain if you've got ploughed cultivation any heavy rainfall can cause some sort of wash off your paddocks which, which we're trying to stop. Yeah once you lose your, your top two, three inches of soil, it's hard to grow a crop. You lose too much nutrients, and uh, once you lose your nutrients, you haven't got much to, to grow with. Um, huge benefits for the catchment. Um, I think any, anything you can do to improve your cost on farms, because we're, we're getting to the stage where it's hard to be viable these days. Um, so any way you can cut back your costs, look after your land better, improve our soil structures, is going to be a huge benefit. Jeff reckons that assistance from the Dairying Better and Better team was vital to seeing him successfully complete the project. Probably would have been harder to be able to apply for the grant, um, mainly because they know the steps through the progress to, to be able to put it through um, and take it through the QDO as one organised program. We're maintaining yields, we're improving our country. The more compost we can get in our country, the, the better the topsoil. Whereas if I was cultivating, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to hold our ground back a lot longer. He's also used Reef Rescue for a successful creek crossing at his property. After the, the floods we had, we uh, lost our old creek crossing, which used to be up the creek a little bit further. We couldn't get our cows across the uh, creek here at all, they had to swim pretty much through all the wet season so we had a lot of trouble getting our cows across to the cultivation uh, for their feed. So we looked at uh, building a creek crossing where um, we got a little bit more height in creek so we can get our cows across more in wet weather without interrupting uh, our paddock feed as much. So we built a creek crossing that would enable us to do, to do that. Benefit is uh, we haven't got cows going through uh, the creek causing erosion. Usually they used to make a track going down through the creek which always eroded out, made it a lot worse and uh, so it's tidy up a lot of those areas where we don't go near the creek crossing as, as much now. So pretty much we can get all our machinery out of out of the water too. We used to travel through the water, which uh, always worn out wheel bearings in our tractors and cars and such like. So now we can cut back on some of those costs as well as having a cow crossing. Um, because everything's, um, the bridge is building, built and virtually finished, we can go in and plant grass seed back over the areas where we've put our soil back to hold our, to stop the erosion and, and hold the banks together. Yeah, any, any government funding is helping us to do it. Um, it definitely helps out on the outlay of money because when you outlay money on machinery or anything on a farm it's always big money so any help we receive from any government um, resource 
is always going to be more beneficial for us.